So here's another little vintage style book and I'll repeat again this is a book that uh, I made because I was inspired by watching a book made by a lady named Angie Bunner. Um, I just wish she had a channel. I just can't get enough of what she does along with Paper Addiction and uh, Deli Girl and Practice Makes Pretty and Innkeeper. Um, they are a few that I watch nearly everything they've made. Um, I think this book does really have a very vintage feel by just looking at all the browns. There's a little flower that I popped in. Some little tags I made out of some of my older paper and used some of my yarn. Little tags and a book marker for those who still like to put bookmarks in a paper book. Pattern paper, little buttons sewn on, and lace. Um, this represents the date of finishing this book, actually. <laughs> but I went in and stuffed in a few more things this year before I hopped on it. Um, that's a stamp, of course, and different stamps, different collections, and some clothing. I just did that for fun. Thought it was cute. And over here, it's just some ephemera. Nothing spectacular, just a little bit of ephemera. And let's see over here too, a little note card to take a note on. This can be removed, a pen, all that can be removed. Uh, you can put your own things in here. There's a little flower on here. This is a pocket with a handmade flower and in the middle of the flower I think that used to be an earring might look cute right there anyway if you want to find something to do with that this piece of paper is the real deal piece of vintage it is not a copy and I can't remember but it was given to me I don't remember the date on it but I'm going to say 50s. Um, it's not really in great condition. I did have to do some gluing and so forth. Just a fun little tag right here. Love the stamps. And I used some of my Spanish cards because I saw someone else using something similar and decorating them, so that's why I did that. And, uh, so if you need a little Spanish lesson, it is hot. Hace calor, I believe. And I'm not going to keep speaking Spanish, but here's 70. Look at the little birds. Oh, that's one of my favorite stamps. That is Helen Keller, I believe. Helen Keller quote a pocket. Okay, so we have a pocket with that's it. Okay. From the new collection here Once Upon a Springtime and some beautiful paper that came in it. Look at that. Gorgeous. Anyway, so there's the Once Upon a Time. These came from a thrift store. Also, I couldn't resist the fantastic price for this beautiful paper a long time ago. I thought it would be great to put in the, the books. So, a couple of them I made into the cards I made into tags, and they're going in here. And back to a couple more Spanish cards. Just stamped them up for fun. Something fun to play with. You can put a picture on them. It would be cute. 
just a cute little tag if you want to put a note in it to or from let's see mm -hmm. more new paper cute stamping for this one also I used um, the card where some of my little trinkets came from Tim Holtz I saw someone else doing this and I know I saw it in one of the Angie Bunner books too but hers was you know decorated with ruffles pretty fabulous oh, let's see here we have a little notebook and an envelope another vintage thrift store find uh, did not come with paper that I can remember but the envelopes I'm I've been giving them away quite a bit so I don't even know if I have but just a few left but that is beautifully embossed with flowers look at the little fairies and I love that little face coming out of the flower beautiful and I took some of my scraps and I made a little notepad here and just uh, barely punched but put the polka dots as I'm trying to do polka dots throughout it and glued on some stuff here for a little art another postcard girl with kittens a little piece of ephemera more note cards and envelope and a tea stained envelope that I just made a little pocket for something fun this is gorgeous paper here you go so a little bird bird cage that's not a stamp that actually came that way this is a lovely little postcard I encased it so that you cannot take it out unless you take the stitching off but I like the feel of it it's a copy of the postcard by the way but if you'd like a copy of it without the paper on it I can do that and back here an old dictionary that I found for free had some nicely yellowed paper and I put that in there made a few tags and again the heart that was seen in the other book by Angie Bunner or other books I should say and this is the back just a tea stain piece of paper and 